My name is Cole Ellis. I work for Beaver Water District and I'm a maintenance mechanic one. So we do quite a bit of different stuff. Um, really anything in the water process that gets broken, we fixed. We usually get a call from our operators. Uh, that they've got something going on. We'll come down, troubleshoot it, figure it out, and then take it apart and put it back together, fixed hopefully. In high school, I went through the CAST program in Siloam where we did industrial maintenance. And then I went through the BIT program here in Springdale. Um, I took a couple motor controls classes and some PLC classes, and that was actually how I got the opportunity to be reached out to through that program. So I'd say I get to do a new thing every day. There's so much here, and I've been here for almost two years now, and I still probably don't know where everything is. Uh, it's just a really big field. There's a, there's a lot in it, um, so many ways you can branch off into. And as far as maintenance goes, uh, I'm never going to be out of a job here, that's for sure. So here at Beaver Water District, we supply wholesale drinking water to our four major cities in northwest Arkansas. So we take water from Beaver Lake and we bring that onto our treatment plant facility. From there, the water is treated and then we disperse that water to the four major cities. We definitely um, have it on our books and in conversations with Springdale School District um, with working with the schools locally at the high school level to provide internship opportunities um, to students wide range from heavy equipment to maybe office or clerical work. Here at Beaver Water District we're going to have over 40% of our workforce retiring within the next 10 years and we've got to build those pipelines to backfill those positions. The main thing I would like to get across is just advocate for our students. We've got to change the perception. It is not just a college-bound path, which there are careers that that absolutely is necessary. But we've got to educate the students, and most importantly, we've got to educate their parents to get their support and their backing because they are the future workers coming in. 